Hello, my name is Dr. Sadaf and I will be performing the lymphoreticular examination on Dr. Kamran today. Hello, Dr. Kamran. Hello. Uh, I will be examining some glands in your neck today and also in your tummy. Is that all right? Yeah, that's all right. Okay, if that causes any pain or discomfort, please do let me know. Right. Starting with the cervical lymph nodes, um, uh, I'll ask uh, the patient to um, relax uh, his neck. Please, if you could look down a bit. So, examining the submental, the submandibular, the jugular digastric, the anterior cervical chain in front of the sternocleidomastoid. If you could please shrug your shoulders for me, the supraclavicular lymph nodes, uh, and relax. The posterior cervical chain, the preauricular, the postauricular and the suboccipital lymph nodes. So there is no lymphadenopathy in my patient. Uh, if I could please ask you to stand up for me. Moving on to the axillary group of lymph nodes. For that, uh, I will ask the patient to cross uh, his uh, right limb over my right limb and palpate with my opposite hand. So going for the anterior axillary nodes, the medial, and the apical all the way up and then if I could relax your arm and the lateral along with the humerus thank you very much if you could cross your other arm over my left arm and with the opposite hand the anterior group the medial group and all the way up the apical and if you could relax a bit and with the same arm, the lateral group against the humerus. Thank you very much. If you could fold your arms like that for me. And for the posterior group, we will go to the back and behind the axilla. So no axillary lymphadenopathy seen in my patient. Now, if you could please um, have a seat on the couch. And lie down for me. On inspection uh, with um, lymph, uh, in the lymphoreticular examination, uh, you do general examination for any uh, leukemias or any other um, lymphoreticular um, abnormalities. So check for any ear infection, any discharge, any nasal crusting, any alopecia, and uh, ideally we would do a thymus. Uh, for the thymus, we will do a CT scan uh, of uh, the neck. And uh, something to be examined now, if you could put your arms by the side. Uh, spleen and liver are uh, important aspects of the lymphoreticular examinations. I will be gently palpating your tummy. If you feel any pain or discomfort, please do let me know. And if you could please take deep breaths for me. So palpation from down and from the second rib, we need to percuss the liver. So you can feel the dullness here. And the liver span is normal, which is 10 centimeters. For the spleen, we will go diagonally. So keep on taking deep breaths. splenic note cannot be felt. If you could please turn over towards me. And if you could do a thrust to actually feel the spleen, spleen below the ribs. And no splenomegaly is seen in my patient. Uh, for abdominal uh, lymph nodes, we would like to do a CT scan as well, ideally. Um, so after doing the abdominal examination, we will warn the patient and um, also palpate for the inguinal lymph nodes, which are in the inguinal um, region. And uh, we can also do an abdominal CT for the intra-abdominal group of lymph nodes. Okay. Moving on to the lower limbs. Um, uh, I'd like to palpate the pleteal group of lymph nodes, so if I could please bend your leg. Placing um, the thumbs on the patella and going deep to 
in the popliteal fossa to palpate for the lymph nodes. I'm doing the same on the other leg. So the popliteal lymph nodes are not palpable. If I, I, I could please have your arm. Uh, relax the patient's elbow, uh, feel with both your thumbs for the cubital lymph nodes here and ask him to relax the other side so you could feel for the epitrochlear above the elbow and doing the same on the other side so cubital with both your thumbs in the cubital fossa and ask the patient to relax and epitrochlear above the elbow Thank you very much. That concludes our lymphoreticular examination. Hope you enjoyed and benefited from the video. Thank you.